hey guys this is joy i'm back again with another video welcome welcome to my channel so as promised i'm going to be doing a reading for gemini's thank you guys for your patience on me getting these readings out it definitely does mean a lot thank you guys for all of your support here all right so if this is you guys this first time joining me welcome um if you're returning welcome welcome again my name is joy this channel is called live narc free it's all about inspiring and motivating you guys to live your best life all right, if you guys would like to get a personal or private reading, um, if this is your first time, you will get $10 off. Or if you're returning, um, that information is on my website, especially if you want to clarify your situation, you want more in depth, or if you're single and you just want to know what's to come, definitely send me an email. i love to do a reading for you. Um, if you just want general guidance, send me an email. Um, if you want an extended reading on this video, please let me know. And I will have it ready for you within 24 to 48 hours. I do do emergency readings as well. So all of that information is on my website. All right. Thank you guys for all of your support. So we're going to get into it for the Geminis. The twins of the Zodiac sign. The witty, smart Zodiac signs. Somebody could be holding back from you right now. Or you're holding back from somebody. You may be holding on to them as well, or they're holding on to you. You might not be wanting to let somebody go. You might be dealing with the Taurus. All right, we're going to be getting the recent past, the present energy, the future energy, the challenge, and the potential outcome between you and another person, Gemini's. So I'm getting that somebody could be needing to cut something out of their life around this time. This is you guys' card, Gemini. Also could be Aquarius or Libra. Somebody's not speaking their truth. Um, Somebody could be holding back how they feel. Um, vindictive around this time. The Queen of Swords in the reverse is like somebody that's bitter. This could be a divorcee. Somebody that's like manipulative. Um, very clever and conning with their words. And with the King of Cups, somebody is definitely not expressing their emotions. Someone could be emotionally manipulative around this time as well. But somebody could be wanting to come towards you, travel, and see you and tell you some good news, potentially. This is the overlying under energy. This might be a karmic situation, but somebody's wanting to balance out something between you and someone else. Or it could have been somebody was given to multiple people, whether they were given to you and someone else. Maybe you might be upset about that. Or vice versa. So let's see. What messages can we get for the Geminis? All right. So we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. So I'm going to show you guys the cards. So we got the Six of Swords and the Reverse for the recent past. We got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse for the present energy. We got the Five of Cups here for the future energy. We got the Ace. I'm oh, sorry, the Ace. Maybe there's an Ace of Wands going on or Ace of Cups. Sorry about that, you guys. We got the um, Eight of Wands. I meant to say Eight instead of Ace. <laughs> we got the Eight of Wands here for the um, challenge. And then we have the Three of Cups here in the potential outcome in the reverse so this could have something to do with the third party i'm just gonna throw it out there just to get it out the way i know a lot of people don't like hearing it but sometimes that is a reality there somebody could have felt like something was an unwise choice in the recent past there was like not a victory within a situation there could have been lack of communication on someone's behalf, whether this is you or another person. Someone could feel like they're going to be left out in the cold or this is you, vice versa. And it's like somebody doesn't want to work on a situation anymore or someone could be looking for work or somebody is just not passionate about something anymore. And again, this could have been a third party, but it's like somebody's dropping it or somebody doesn't want to reconcile or reunite with you or something. That's what I'm seeing here. So let's go ahead and clarify the situation. Maybe somebody wants to drop it because there's multiple people involved or they didn't feel successful because of this. Maybe you had a certain outcome in mind and you're just like, oh, it, it didn't work out as you thought it was. Why is the six of wands here? Yeah, because something was like a heavy burden or not a heavy burden, but something 
somebody was trying to protect themselves and they thought like if they protected themselves that they was going to have victory but they found out that that wasn't the case it's like somebody was trying to guard their heart they were trying to stop themselves from getting hurt maybe by a love and now it's like you know they're not giving up but it's like they're tired and they're on the verge of it but they're they're still hanging on but there was like something didn't work out in someone's favor there was like no victory in a situation potentially why is this eight of pentacles here in the reverse for the present energy between you and another person or within the situation why is the eight of pentacles here why is this eight of pentacles here in the reverse like something's not working out or somebody doesn't want to work on a situation anymore like you're not concerned anymore about this person or vice versa or it's like you're looking for work yeah there's there was some secrets that came out or somebody's like overcoming their fears whatever was hidden came to the light and so that's probably why you don't want to work on this anymore what came out Maybe this could have something to do with work again or your career, your money. Maybe you had a business deal that didn't go through or something. There were some secrets about a business. Yeah, somebody was being a fool with the um, fool in a reverse something. Somebody could have took a risk and it didn't turn out in their favor. They could have been naive. What was this? What, what was revealed? Maybe that somebody was like. Just naive and not thinking, not, yeah, like, you know, being foolish. But it's like, there's some sort of wish fulfillment that's going to be coming out of this. Hmm. You're going to, somebody's going to get a wish fulfillment. Not maybe when they drop something, there's going to be some secrets that come out about a person, maybe an Aries. And it's like. Now somebody feel like they're going to be happy. Or maybe this could have been somebody was being selfish. Maybe this this was a secret that somebody was being selfish and only caring about themselves. That was the secret that was revealed. Because like somebody's unhappy here. You could be dealing with a Leo. It's either someone's like realizing that somebody is selfish, naive, being foolish. That was a secret. That's probably why they don't want to work on it. Or it's like somebody's wish fulfillment could have came out of that. Now somebody's single, independent. Now they want to work by themselves. They they got their nine of cups. They just need one more cup and they're good. And yeah, the somebody's going to be blocking something out in the uh, future energy with the seven of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And somebody's going to feel left out in the cold. Somebody's going to feel left out financially. Somebody could have like been selfish towards you. Now they want to come back around. But it's like you could be blocking them out or they're blocking you out. Or it's like somebody's standing up for what it is that they want. And yeah, there could have been a choice that somebody had to make with the lover's card. Maybe they were choosing between you and someone else, Gemini. This is your card here. Or it's like there was a broken connection and now somebody's blocking you out. Why is this eight of wands here for the challenge? Why is this eight of wands here for the challenge? It's like somebody wasn't communicating or they were needing to do some sort of communication. What were they needing to communicate? Yeah, a sudden change with the tower card. Yeah, in regards to a soulmate. There, there was a, a tower moment that happened in someone's life or there was a needing to be a tower moment or needing to be a life changing event that needed to happen to somebody. What was needing to happen? Why was this a challenge between Gemini and our person? Why is the Tower and the Eight of Wands here for the challenge? What was needing to happen? Yeah, because somebody was needing to manifest a situation. Somebody would need to be confident, take action. Give me one more card for what was, yeah, in regards to somebody from their past. Something was needing to change. Maybe they needed to communicate to somebody from their past. Yeah, and you secretly knew about this or someone else knew about this. Yeah, it was in regards to a soulmate. Maybe somebody missed an opportunity with their soulmate because something was needing to change with somebody from their past. They could have been juggling you and someone else for sure. Why is this three of cups here? I'm definitely picking up their party. See, all oh, the signs. Why is this um, three of cups here for in the reverse? 
Yeah, there was an ending. Somebody's letting go of a difficult situation. Maybe in regards to a third party. Or somebody's holding back in regards to a third party situation. Or regards to reuniting with someone. They, somebody could have felt betrayed, but it's like they're getting over it now. And they're holding back. Or they're letting go of a situation. Yeah, because somebody has feelings for somebody, but it's like they're not showing it right now. Give me one more card for this potential outcome. What's going to be the overall outcome? It's like, let me see before I say it. Give me one more card. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, somebody took a break from you, but now they want to come out of taking a break. They feel stuck and restricted maybe because of Queen of Wands. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up third party for sure. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Somebody could have been was somebody was emotionally manipulative and they were lacking the faith and the courage to say something or to do something or to make a change. So we got the four of swords here in the reverse. We got the eight of um, the eight of swords here and we got the queen of rods. Yeah, somebody's letting go of maybe this is like a multi. It's multiple parties involved, I'm seeing. Somebody's letting go, but they, they feel stuck on doing this. But it's like they're coming out of being retreated from somebody. And they could be expressing their emotions. I don't really feel like this needs an extended, to be honest. I see it clearly here. Someone's letting go of a situation. And they could be expressing their emotions to someone else. But they feel stuck on doing this. But it's like they're going to do it. Because maybe they got betrayed. And they feel stuck about that. Alright, so let's get some fortune. This could have something to do with a, a lot of this marriage card, man, but coming out. <laughs> somebody's married, man. Yeah, somebody was dealing with a false person. Maybe somebody at their job or maybe somebody they were working with. Yeah, man. And somebody's concerned about this. Yeah, someone's concerned about that. Somebody could have been dealing with somebody that was tricking them, manipulating them. And somebody made a choice, it looks like. Has something to do with the marriage. Yeah, it was a false person involved. And somebody feels some sort of despair now. These cards are all the way turned around and flipped. Yeah, there's a change that's coming for a lot of you guys. There's a big change. Somebody could be going to court around this time. Somebody might be having to pay out um, legalities and alimony or something. Somebody loves somebody though that's the thing yeah it's in regards to a home or a house somebody could have lived with somebody the lovers yeah some of them was definitely a choice yeah the main male i'm sorry the main female yeah I'm not taking this over to the extended. Yeah. Somebody had a poverty conscience here. Somebody could have felt like they wasn't good enough for you. We got the marriage card. We got the house card. We got high honor. We got the mature man. We got the lovers. And we got the main female. So I'm saying this in two ways. It's like somebody's dropping a third party. They're letting go. And they could have got betrayed and backstabbed. They retreated from this person. And it's like they want to come towards you and express their love. But I don't know, Gemini, if you want this person, though. That's the thing. Because they were dealing with someone from their past. They were communicating. They were lacking the communication with you. There was a tower that needed to come down. On this situation and they was like refusing to do something about it. They were lacking the motivation, lacking the confidence. And now it's like they're they're letting this go. 
But now they want to express their emotions towards you. The question is, I don't know if you want this or not, Gemini. Maybe we could take that over to the extended to see if you actually want it or not. Because they were being a fool. You know? That's that was a secret that came out. They were being foolish. No, I don't I don't want to do an extended on this. Unless you guys want it, you can send me an email and let me know. But I don't think I want to do it. Cause I feel like this per somebody is either rejecting a reconciliation with somebody or in they're letting go of a third party. Or someone's just moving on altogether. Let me get one more card to see. What's gonna is what's gonna be the overall outcome with the situation? But there's definitely there's a marriage and there's like a side chick, like another person involved. Yeah, the commitment, the Taurus in a reverse. So like a broken marriage. Somebody like doesn't want to commit or somebody's changing their belief systems around a marriage or somebody was being unconventional. What's going to be the overall outcome? Yeah, somebody don't want it, man. The Ace of Cups in the reverse. Or maybe somebody don't want a new love. And it's like somebody stopped coming towards you. Let me see. Yeah, somebody's speaking their truth though. That's the thing. Yeah, and they're confused on how to do this. Yeah, but they could feel like this is it's over with. It's done. So... That's what I got. They want to help you out. So that's what I have for you, Geminis. Hopefully it wasn't too long. But um, yeah, it's up to you guys whether you want to take this offer or not. I'm getting some of you won't. You don't want to um, come back around with this person. They want you back. They want to work it out. So it's up to you guys. Let me know if this resonated or if this is your story. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, Gemini.